Hi, welcome, welcome back to Real, real estate, estate and, and relationships. relationships. Hi, I'm Katina, your real estate extraordinaire and your empowered realtor. <laughs> Money making male, your entrepreneurship coach. Yamika Shade, your relationship, your best friend, your favorite girlfriend. All right. So, who had a great week? Who 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 wants to um Tell us about their week or, you know, give us some positive news for the week. Well, I had a good day. For, you know, I just felt energetic. I felt alive. Really? Was it the I weather? I don't know if it's because of the... I'm sorry? Was it the weather? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I thought, she, I thought she said something else. Um, but... <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that something else? But, uh, we're going to say that for the next segment. But okay. anyway... Yeah, it was the weather, and um, I drank me a nice little carrot juice. I think that gave me ah! a little, little <laughs> spunk. A little boost. Yeah, a little boost. But, yeah, I just I just had a good, ex well, yeah, it wasn't really exciting. I just had, I was full of energy. Mm -hmm. I wish I had to, you know, had some energy to spend with somebody. But, oh. I got okay. lots of energy. It's like the energizer bunny keep going and going and going. Okay. Yeah. That right. sounds like a good day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an energetic. An energetic day. Yeah, okay. it's still, you know, it's still time left in the day though. Ooh. Did you have a drink of the week already or something? Um, What's going on? I may What's have going? put they all in my business. <laughs> I may have put something in that carrot juice, but inquiring minds want to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it is. How about you, man? What's going on? Uh, nothing much. I had a good day. Just just been trying to sell some houses and sell some cars. All right. Every Get day ready I'm for hustling. Tax Every day I'm hustling. You know what, man? I've been wanting to ask you, too. How did, Which one do you like better? Selling houses or selling cars? Mm. And why? I really like both, but better. I like selling houses because you get bigger checks. <laughs> oh, really? I like selling hmm. cars because you get faster checks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so they both have their pros and cons. Yeah, oh. I like that. All right, yeah. great explanation. Okay. All right. Well, so what about you? Oh, my week was very hectic, very stressful, okay. but... Is that, is that the normal life of a realtor? Of a No, it's uh, extra padded stress this week um, because, again, we're launching the book. Um, Bam! Or, or we launched the book yesterday. <laughs> by the time this record, <laughs> by the time this airs, the book will be launched. So that is adding to my stress, me trying to... Get everything in order. But I have to realize nothing is going to be perfect right now with COVID. Okay? I mean, they can't even mail something priority mail in three days in Michigan. So, whatever. I don't want to talk about my stress. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Any real estate questions, though, for me? Um, I know a couple came over throughout the week. Yes. Anything specific you want to talk about? Yes, I had um, quite a few. I, uh, well, most of the questions were based on land bank properties. Um, how do you acquire them? People that try to acquire them say that they're very hard um, to obtain. They think you got to know somebody that knows somebody in order to get them. And, Who thinks that? Um, well, you know, it's anonymous. <laughs> but they're saying that they're having uh, they well, quite, well, quite a few people said they're having a problem with getting them. They haven't called no realtor, but yeah, I mean, right now, uh, any house is a any house worth it or at a decent price is going to be a challenge to get um, because there's a shortage and everybody is trying to get houses and to keep moving forward. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with COVID, people don't want to stand still and not buy houses. They want to get these good prices or what appears to be a good deal today. So, pause. You said, um, why are they having a difficult time? Because they haven't found a realtor. So basically, you're saying no, no, no. What did you say? I said if they think that if they initially, I think you said they they think that you gotta know somebody like someone yeah. downtown. 
that you got to know somebody right. to get a land bank house. But if they call a realtor, a realtor will tell them you just buy a land bank house on the website. It's okay. uh, buildingdetroit.org. Because most realtors, we don't even help people buy land bank homes at all. It's it's not even affiliated with us. We uh, Realtors primarily help people buy houses that are on the market. Now, some do have a special program where they help you with land bank homes, but most do not. Because it's a simple website. You can go on there, put in your bid, talk to the city directly. That's how you do the land bank. But are you competing against other people? Oh, yeah. You're not the only one. So do you see the bids as they're coming in? Uh, probably not. I've never bought a land bank home. Okay. So um, a lot of auctions, though, a lot of auctions online, I believe it will show you as the price is increasing. So, so the land bank and the auction, is that two separate things or is that similar. the same? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but is the auction like back taxes and the land bank is just abandoned homes? The auction? Yeah. Which auction? The housing auction. It's a lot of them. Okay. Okay. It's a lot of them. So, but realtors, that's not what we do. Okay. Right? So, a lot of the auctions, people go there and they read the information and they put in their own bids. Okay. That's how that goes. But we, we, I mean, yeah. Okay. It would be a long story, but nope. You go to the website and get the land bank house on your own. Okay. <clears throat> you had a question about land bank mail? Um, yeah, I had somebody pretty much who was looking to get um, a home... It was actually a weird situation because the home, this particular home was actually on the MLS. I had right. to have him on like an auto email thing. So he inquired about mm -hmm. um, a home that was sent to him. Mm -hmm. And it pretty much said uh, something about the land back in there. So um, right. I'm pretty much, he pretty much just wanted to know if there was any requirements, what he had to do. Um, if right. it was like a normal land back home where they had to fix it up in a certain amount of time mm -hmm. or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're starting to see, we're starting to see, um, the city does have a special program where they will allow, once you go through their process, um, it's a very small select few realtors who do have land bank properties on the MLS mm. and then all the rules and everything like that is on the, is listed on the listing. Mm. Um, but typically, from what I know, the land bank guidelines are, number one, now this is for a single family house. So typically when you buy a land bank property, um, the first rule is that they tell you to have it fixed up and ready to move in within six months. That's one thing. Um, the second thing is that you want to um, pull permits. So say for example, this house needs a full rehab, um, you need a roof, you need a furnace, you need all that stuff, you need electrical, you want to have licensed professionals and have permits pulled because the land bank will probably check this. Um, but um, another, another, I get, that. now this question I do get quite a bit is how can they expect people to have a house put together in six months? Yeah, that was my, yeah, that's what I was about to ask. When most of those land bank houses need everything yeah. from top to bottom. Right. So, but in that type of situation, what you want to do is take pictures of your progress. And then you would have to continue asking for extensions. Do you know if there's a fee involved with like asking for extensions? Um, I don't know. I'm sure it's on their website though. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, long story short. Uh, with the land bank houses, it's it looks cheap, but always consider your rehab dollar amount. Mm -hmm. Always. Because it, it could be $1,000, but by the time you pay contractors and go through a process, um, make sure you consider that when buying it. For sure. That's all I got to say about land bank. <laughs> <laughs> I've never bought or sold a land bank house. Really? Mm -mm. Okay. But I see a lot of um, people from out of state, they will do that. Right. And then um, it's a headache for them trying to get contractors because 
they're expecting cheap labor and mm -hmm. I mean, it, ha it has to be worth the contractor's time right. for them to fix your house. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. That, that, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times you don't know. You may go in thinking it's going to cost 20000 but once you get into the bones of the house, you be thinking you don't have to do this and you come across something else. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. not only with probably a land bank home, probably with just any home, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. even fixing on your own home. If, you know, you fix one thing and then be like, oh, this is a problem too. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just a risk, would you say you take with any, mm -hmm. with anything that needs repair? I always say every house has a secret. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you yes. get, it's uncovered once they start uh, rehabbing the house. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. But yeah, I mean, if it if it's a local contractor who knows what they're doing, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a couple of questions um, about first time home buyer buyer. Okay. Um, and you can help too, Mel. Okay. Because you're so licensed. <laughs> when first time home buyers, one of the questions was this young lady. She stated that she keeps getting um, losing on her bid. So it's a hot market right yeah, now. So she's saying <laughs> we need more houses. How <laughs> when you when you guys are representing your buyers, what advice are you giving them when they come with their offers? Because you're you selling houses, so your offers are getting accepted. What advice are we giving the buyer? Yeah, I mean to beat out the other offers. Or what, what I mean, how this <laughs> because she says she keep losing. Okay, has she what is her realtor telling her? Oh, she, she <laughs> she Sometimes, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be totally real. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need a new realtor. Period. Boom. But it is a super hot market. It is. I cannot yeah. deny that. Um, it is a super hot realtor, but sometimes you do need a realtor who has possibly more experience. Sometimes is not the realtor. Sometimes it could be the offer. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes buyers just don't want to take the realtor's advice. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you an example. One time I had advised, or I asked, I asked my buyer, I said, listen, we saw all the traffic mm -hmm. that was in that house when we went to look at it. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be multiple offers. What are you willing to do to stand out mm -hmm. outside of, you know, the other offers? Now, um, my buyer was FHA, mm -hmm. and um, my buyer did not have a large down payment, mm -hmm. and my buyer needed some help with closing costs, mm -hmm. okay? That would be considered somewhat of a weak offer. Mm -hmm. So, if you got a hot, popping house, and we pull up to look at it, and there are 20 other buyers or 10 other buyers waiting in line to see it, we've got to think outside the box and do something more. Mm -hmm. And um, some examples of doing something more could be an appraisal guarantee, mm -hmm. which I'll go into on a later date. I'll go into detail about that. But an appraisal <laughs> guarantee or um, waiving inspection or paying more for the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the tactics used. But it's a high market. Yeah. So... There we go. Well, there it is. People ask me that question, so you got your question answered. Wow. Yeah. 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 What else? You got any tips for yeah. um, first time home buyers, Mel? Um, I would just have to agree with you. It's just it's definitely a hot market. I've showed several people several homes, and then as soon as you put the offer in, it's already somebody else accepted. It's like. Or sometimes they have, even when I'm showing, trying to show somebody a house, it's like, usually they might give you like 30 minutes to show the home or something like that, or sometimes longer, but it was a couple times where you literally only had <laughs> 10 minutes to view the home because <laughs> that many people are coming to see it. Right. Yeah. Right. So if you come late, it's too bad for you. <laughs> yeah. I know when I was, um, Tina, when we were looking at homes for me, this was my realtor. Yeah, it was a hot market then too. It was a hot market then, mm -hmm. and um, 
It was very emotional for me. Uh, not only was she my realtor, she had to be my counselor and my therapist. Because I was like, I did everything right. And um, I kept losing because at that time, it was a lot of cash buyers. Hmm. So they didn't want to wait on my little mortgage. Hmm. <laughs> so, I, you know, it could be very emotional. But I always say... God didn't want me to have them houses because mm -hmm. I ended up getting my home mm -hmm. for twenty five thousand less. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that later on in another episode. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, sometimes when you don't get the house, it's because that house is not meant for you. Take it from me. Mm -hmm. So it's always a blessing somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, could be. Yeah. So mm -hmm. as far as the relationships, though, right? Yeah. Cause that's what that's what we want to know about. As far as the relationships, who yeah. slid in your DM this week? Well, you know, some more people did, but I still got some reoccurring from the pilot episode, Sheesh. from the second episode. What's the hottest one? The hottest let's, let's one. Let's get to the one that's on fire. Okay. That's that's about to wake us up, turn us up okay. real quick. <laughs> let's go there. What's the hottest, hottest, hottest one? In the meantime, y'all, while we're waiting, visit Empowered Through Real Estate. Dot com. So, y'all know what, too? I am choosing a random per See, y'all, I told y'all I don't know how to stop. I just don't know how to stop selling. <laughs> but I don't care. And we're not editing this. Okay. Um, Yamika today says we need to keep our bloopers in there so we don't do it. All right? Yep. But in the meantime, while we're waiting on this question, visit EmpowerThroughRealEstate.com because a random person is going to win... <laughs> A brand new tablet. Oh, a brand new tablet, so they could read and get the Kindle book, right? Can the Amel win it? No. <laughs> <laughs> a random person, not somebody <laughs> on camera right now. <laughs> no. Nope. All right, y'all ready for this question? We ready. We are ready. I don't know. Sure. It may make your glasses fog up. Well, let's go. Ooh. Let's go. We ready. It's gonna be that high. <laughs> <laughs> we ready. That's how my question relationships. is, poly relationships. Poly relationships. Yes. Poly, poly, poly. Uh, that, that term was happening a lot, like two years ago. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were talking about that. So what this person said, what do we think about it? Um, and why is the poly relationships always two women and one man? Why is it, it more so flipped two men and one lady? This person said they will be down with the poly relationship Ooh. for financial reasons and for sexual reasons. Because when she's tired, the other person can pick up the slack. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she must be married. <laughs> no. This person, is, this person is not. What? But the bigger thing was by financial reasons. And said that we probably frown upon it, not us, just society, mm -hmm. uh, because we are grown to think in America, and this person is from America as well, mm -hmm. one man, one wife, but like in countries like Africa, you mm -hmm. know, and and uh, the Middle East, as long as you can afford it, mm -hmm. you can have multiple wives, but, you know, but I think it should be flipped. If I can afford to have multiple husbands, I should be able to do that too, but what do y'all think about that? I think that this question is so deep that we got to bring out the drink of the week first. <laughs> so that we can really... <laughs> he, he hurried up. <laughs> he hurried Wait up minute, today. They say fucking vodka. Oh, like effing. Oh. So actually, it's F-K-N-G. It's mm. for kings, not gods. Like that. And this is oh. a black-owned company. From Michigan, too, I believe. Okay, so like that. Let's, let's go ahead and get some. Y'all got some cups or something? Yeah. Say it's 80 proof. 80 proof. Oh, boy. Do we got any ice, though? Nope. We got some lemonade. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that works just fine. <laughs> so, like while this. we go ahead and... um. No, we need to multitask. We can drink this. and talk. Let's go mm. ahead. I'll go first. So, this is how I feel about the situation. I honestly feel like... I understand where people come from with that, 
I don't know yet if I totally agree with it. But well, I why do you understand it? Because it does, for what you said, they, it does, if I have, <laughs> if I'm one man, and if I have two wives, mm -hmm. then me and one of my wives can go make money, and one of the other, the other wife can stay at home, make sure that the kids are good, make sure the house is good. Or all three of us could go to work, and then that makes triple the money. So that does help financially, in my opinion, as well as sexually. But um, how do you feel about it? How do I feel about it? To each his own. I'm thinking, honestly, I'm thinking that possibly... Um, the person who asked the question, okay, number one, I'm thinking possibly she might be um, bisexual. I'm assuming, I'm assuming, but I'm thinking um, bisexual women may be a lot more open to that um, because most women who are not bisexual are, you know, selfish and not trying to share that. But um, I think to each his own. So do you think they bisexual because the husband's going to want the, the two women to entertain one another? I'm thinking the fact that she's cool with it. Either I'm thinking because she's cool with it, she might be bisexual. Or because she's cool with it, she might be a like bored housewife. Like, oh, we need some action up in here. Um, so action. she might be cool with it. But... That's just me assuming, though. Not saying I totally agree with it, but I do understand, again, why people would do it because that would definitely bring more mm -hmm. fun into the household, but at the same time, I cut said down. bring more fun into the household. <laughs> Take a pause. More fun or but, problems? But, but, but let's pause. No okay. money making Melvin. Let's pause. <laughs> why do you, hmm. when I say you, I mean men. Mm -hmm. Why are you having all the fun? So, my thing, what if I want two men? Mm, Are you like done some, with that? That's like some uh, Will and Jada stuff here, huh? <laughs> whole entanglement. I'm just, <laughs> whole you know, I just, I mean, you said right, the so. two wives, if if I'm the, if I can afford, if I got Jada money, mm -hmm. and I want Chris Brown and Usher. Mm -hmm. Girl. No, I'm not saying. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, not, you would be able to handle no Chris Brown. <laughs> and, uh, 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 they both uh, going to be dancing. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, hey, it's my fantasy. You would be like, that's it's, okay. It's my fantasy. Oh, okay. But okay. anyway, what I'm saying <laughs> is that. Are you, are, you are you thinking differently now? If it's a woman and she has two Ooh. men? Ooh. Okay, Ooh. so my opinion on that is. At that red table with Will and Jada. You seen that man crying? That I don't think men can handle that. If he really is in tune with that woman on that type so of So what makes you think? He said, did you see that man crying? But, <laughs> but at that time, pause, and I'm interrupting him. I seen it. He said, he was like, yeah, I, wouldn't, I really, wasn't, really wasn't feeling you. So, dog, if you're not feeling me, I need to go to somebody that is feeling me. And she, and she did. She did her again. So why are you crying? I mean, exactly. It was he probably was crying because it was public. But I do think that I see why people do it. Not saying I agree with it, but I see why people do it. They get to have their fun, but at the same time, the men do. Some women enjoy that, like you said. I don't know if they necessarily have to be <laughs> bisexual. <laughs> But some women may I don't want enjoy that. I, I, I like how you took that <laughs> shit. Like, yeah. I'm not saying that they got to be bisexual to be down with that. Also, another pro is, uh, a pro to the situation is, it may <laughs> cut down on cheating. Is that right? Do you agree Hell with that? No. 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 Oh. no. no. You, you know what you're going to do? Me and Tina gonna want a third yeah, one of exactly. Can I get a? Can I get a? Yeah. Me and Tina gonna be sitting at home no. with 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 the kids, and then you gonna be like, "Oh, here's Sarah." We gonna be like, "Where this? Where she come from?" And I and you know the funny thing is, 
um, I saw something like that on an episode of Cheaters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the guy had two women who lived with him, and then um, he was caught cheating, and they was like, "Are we enough for you?" Like they was beating him up. So like no, he's gonna want two, three, four. Honestly, me personally, I think bringing in somebody in the relationship, that is just opening too many doors. And who knows what's going down after that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Even on a fun night? Nope. So, like, not saying that she's the wife, but maybe, like, on some T.I. and Tiny type stuff. Mm. If we're married, but we're going to no. I haven't heard about T.I. and Tiny stuff. Okay. So... A lot of people Let me that. tell you what how I was raised. I was said, don't never bring no man no pom pom. No pom pom. Don't bring it to him. Don't bring it. Don't bring it. Don't bring it. <laughs> you gonna bring somebody home for me? Nope. You bring a Chris Breezy to the house? No. Nope. Okay then. Well, not at all. You can't bring um. <laughs> what's that bag on? What her name is? Bernice. So you see how you <laughs> said that? Yeah, that's the one that takes Tiny and um. Yeah. Yeah. Bernice. You ain't bring it back. You bring, if you ain't, if Chris ain't with her, mm. they can't, she can't come. So they both come at home. Me and Chris. One <laughs> <laughs> room and you and Bernice can go to another. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we'll meet up later on. Bernice. <laughs> Okay, so since you're on this subject, right? Yeah. Okay, let's pretend, um, Miss Katina, let's pretend you're married and you're married for like three years now and your husband says, hey, we should go get another woman. Are you just going to be like, divorce? <laughs> <laughs> like, how does that work? No, I don't be like divorce. I'm going to just be like, no. What do what? I need to do? I'll be like, for what? Why are we bringing her in? To spice it up? Yeah, if he's like, hey, let's spice it up. <sighs> you gonna go to the kitchen and get some seasoning, huh? <laughs> uh, I, I, you know how I used to spice it up when I was married? Be a different person. Go in my closet, pull out my red my <laughs> red wigs or my blonde wigs. Uh, oh, I had a name and all that. So what? it's very easy to spice it up without bringing in a real other woman. That's deep. <laughs> how about you? You gonna do the same? I don't know. She said no. <laughs> no. You're not no. gonna do the same thing she said. Okay, I do. No. That, <laughs> but we not bringing no no other woman. No, I get down on myself before I get down on somebody else. Sheesh. So no, no. That's deep. Okay. If you need two Yamika Shades, Yamika Shade don't need you. Ooh. I'm, I'm just saying. That makes sense. I'm, I'm just saying because when you dip lunch. You gonna dip without me, and that, to me, that's what happens. If you look at all this stuff that becomes public, these people that do do their little things, and then like, oh, what the problem is? He went to go see Bernice without me. Mm -hmm. That's how it. Yeah, always. that's how it. You know, and that's what you know. I'm not bringing sand to the beach. I'm not bringing you no poom poom. You gotta go find it on your own, sir. And, and once that's, you open that door, yeah. it's open. Yeah, it, I agree with. The both of you, and it is 2020, so I'm just saying that 2020. it's 2020, so well, they things, been, they things are evolving, and then it's kind of like, I even met this Is that evolving? I guess. Bringing somebody else in? People are doing new things these days. Oh, 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 but I just said, all I'm saying is, what I, I met this married things? couple, and they had it set up kind of, it was my first time hearing about this, but they had it set up kind of weird. It wasn't like, the normal is like, okay we're married or we're together and then we're going to have fun with this person or random people but we choose the people type of thing mm -hmm. they had it to where they're married man and woman but then they had a girlfriend but sometimes the wife gets to see the girlfriend whenever she wants to the man gets to see the girlfriend when they want when he wants to but then they have times where they're all together as well. But see, it's just like, but see, that's what Tina said. They're bisexual. That's deep. Bisexual women. But are again, more but see, but see, that's what I'm saying. To me, okay, in that aspect, the woman, the wife, she's having fun too because she mm -hmm. likes women. Right. But again, how does that work for me? Mm. I don't like women. Right. I like me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but right. again, how do I have fun in that relationship. Right. Mm -hmm. Because you're having all the fun. Because you you gonna want us to do one another, which is not gonna happen. I don't care how much <laughs> F fucking vodka I drink. <laughs> and, Thor King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And 
You know, D probably don't want me to watch y'all. Okay. But no. No, I mean, cause if 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 I'm not joining in, I like this life. Yeah, I'm just gonna be watching y'all. Mm. And I'm not no. No. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a deep question. It is. That was a good question. Yeah. That question could go on okay. and on. Wait to yeah. see what Because I... her biggest thing was financially. It could help financially. We didn't talk about that part. We talked about sexually. Right. Yeah, we did. Do, do you think it would help financially? Oh, I mean, of course. Three people in the house. Three incomes. <laughs> Three incomes. Yeah. So, I mean, what if it was the three incomes and it's helping you financially because now you're just saving so much money and you don't be involved with that second woman? Maybe he just does. Is that okay with you? He just d doing a dish fix for both of us? <laughs> <laughs> no, I save money by myself. It may take me a little longer. She said, I'll I'll I save money look. by myself or I just get somebody that just want to <laughs> dipstick me. She and, say love you know, say love we may not love be able to do what three people can do, but we'll get there because you want to know why. <laughs> My man that only wanted dipstick me, we're going to be fired. And why y'all over there doing all that nasty stuff? We're going to be hustling. Exactly. All right. <laughs> That's it. Now, yeah. I was just playing, you know, that role. I'm not, I'm not saying I agree with you. <laughs> I'm just saying for the record that I understand. All right. So since we talk of financials, you money making male. What business tips do you have for a poly relationship? For a poly relationship? <laughs> yes. Yeah. What, I mean, what kind of business can they start? What they be selling toys? What they doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, they have three incomes. They can pretty much put it together and make their household work. But um, my business tip of the day would definitely be about social media today. So mm. the power of social media. For a poly? Um, for any business owner, actually. Oh. But it, yeah, that helps them, too. <laughs> I don't discriminate. Um, you know, however, whatever floats their boat. Okay. Um, but I would just say social media is very important because these days, people don't even want to get their hair done unless they see what you have done. Can I have? Can I see your work before? Can I see what you've done oh, prior? Right. Mm -hmm. um, yes. That's just how it is. Back in the day, you could go in the barber shop and just hope that he's gonna do good. Take your chances. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like that. It's not like that anymore. So these days, um, if you have any type of business or looking to start a business, make sure that you know you promote yourself accordingly with having social media, maybe Instagram, Facebook, or other outlets that may help you promote. Because mm -hmm. I, what I have come to realize is that most people don't do business with you not because of they don't like your service or your product, but just because they don't know about you. So let mm -hmm. make them know about you. They don't know who yes. you are. Yes. That's about it. So let me ask you this. For some, because you, you are very um, social media savvy. Mm -hmm. Somebody like me that is not. What what would be your tips on how, how they can become social media savvy? I would say just make it a habit to get on there, use it. Um, another thing that we need to do in the black community is to know that it doesn't cost anything a lot of times to support one another, to mm -hmm. like, post, comment, share, subscribe. Mm -hmm. So we should do more of that to help one another. And that right there helps a lot because if you like other people's stuff, mm -hmm. then hopefully they'll like yours in return. And then that would, of course, bring more eyes to whatever you're selling. And if I can add to that, mm -hmm. um, definitely YouTube mm -hmm. and I wanted to say TikTok, but I'll just leave it at YouTube. That's your best friend. Anything you want to learn is on YouTube, period. Thanks. If you want to get better at social media, Google it. It's on YouTube. There's mm -hmm. millions of videos to tell you how to get better. At almost anything. Anything you want to learn. Anything. Almost anything. And that's exactly why we're here. So we're I, have these a, videos. I have a question for both of you guys. Because both of you guys are entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would y'all give a nine to fiver to get the courage to step out? Mm, good question. I would just say, for me, I would say you first have to 
believe in yourself and just take that leap of faith. Um, I honestly been an entrepreneur for years, but it just took me to this year actually to just not work any other job. Usually I had a job and I would do um, different stuff on the side as far as mm -hmm. entrepreneurship, but mm -hmm. uh, you have to take, like Steve Harvey said, you have to jump and you just have to believe in yourself and just get out there. I'm not saying mm -hmm. just quit your job because that, you know, sometimes that's not going to make sense. But I would definitely say, a lot, I feel like a lot of people don't do it because they're scared or they may. They're it's a big themselves. step. Yeah. yeah. It's a big step. It is. I was scared. But what made you take that leap, though? Um, I was ready. Yeah. One of my favorite quotes right now, all this year, is you cannot receive what you are not prepared for. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, and it's kind of like, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like that. Always keep yourself up to date with what's happening. Mm -hmm. Always learn outside of that 9 to 5. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. That's how you stay in the game. Because okay. your 9 to 5 is teaching you what they want you to know. Yep. Period. Yep. So always take time out for yourself to learn what you want. And again, YouTube is free. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's it's not I'm not saying get no PhD from YouTube, but it's an excellent start. Mm -hmm. um, it's an excellent start, and it could lead you to some kind of um, reasonably priced course. Mm -hmm. But y'all know y'all know I'm a, a believer in education. I know yeah. a lot of people are not because of student loans mm -hmm. kicking our butts. But I'm a believer that knowledge is power. So, but even if you don't go the traditional route mm -hmm. with education, always get educated. Mm -hmm. You know, sure. course, uh, courses, trade school, certificate. Um, yep, mm -hmm. business classes. Mm -hmm. It's so much you can do these days. Mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 easier. So I got one other question for both of you guys. Mm -hmm. Do you think hustlers are born or are they bred? Mm -hmm. Um. Honestly, you want to answer first, or um, yeah, I'll answer first. I would say that's a really deep question. Actually, mm -hmm. I I got my answer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think that anybody can become whatever they want to. Yes. Mm. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to get my book because <laughs> that is in there. And what I say, you know, I'm not even trying to sell it right now, but, um, <laughs> but it's true. It's I'm not trying true. to sell it at this moment. But <laughs> no, I mean, these are some excellent questions because I do believe that um, you can definitely be taught to be a superstar. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, especially when you see young entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. it was it was um Trained, they were trained that way, you know, by their parents or, mm -hmm. you know, something they saw growing up. Mm -hmm. But what about the person who didn't see that growing up? Mm -hmm. How do they get started? Mm -hmm. So you can be trained. Mm -hmm. I definitely believe that you can definitely grow into a big time entrepreneur. I would have to agree 100%. Mm -hmm. The thing with me is I actually, my dad... The tax business I have now, my dad started it back in 1985. However, and I pretty much kept it going. However, my mom worked at Kmart for about 31 years. Mm -hmm. She had two more years mm -hmm. to go. To retire? Yep. Mm -hmm. And they end up, she made like 90000 a year. This is back in 2008. Mm -hmm. She was making like ninety a year. And they pretty much let her go. They let her come to work. Mm -hmm. And then let her go. Two years before retirement? Two mm -hmm. years before. Ooh. And they let her go so that they could pay somebody fresh out of college 45000 a year. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And... To always yeah. be replaced. Honestly, that right there in 2008 mm. led me to believe that I have no choice but to create my own path because mm. um, 31 years of your life is gone. You can't get that back. Mm. So she gave Kmart one hundred and ten percent of her time for thirty one years. And I heard, you know, mm. when my my dad passed away, she cried real hard. But mm. other than my dad passing away, that was the other time 
my mom has never really cried that hard. Cause, really? Yeah, because it's like you you just gave somebody 30 years of your life for them to tell you we don't want you no more. Mm -hmm. So, and she was also right. supposed to get like $3,100 a month in pension, in which wow. my generation probably don't have to worry about that. You're not getting any pension. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, but because they let her go to, you know, two years early, she ended up getting $310 a month. In <gasps> Are you serious? What? Yeah. So that played a part in it too. It did. What a hell of a um, so story. That pretty much led me to believe that. Wow. I was able to grow up in entrepreneurship somewhat because of my dad, but it led me to believe, like, okay, I have to eventually create my own path is to, you know, and be an entrepreneur because, and another thing that made me feel this way is that when that happened, she pretty much was like, what am I going to do now? Because this is all I know. Mm -hmm. So this is why I try to dibble and dabble and learn different things and like you said take classes on different mm -hmm. stuff so that you can have that knowledge on different things so that if one thing slow down you can pick up something else mm -hmm. that was a hell of a story i wasn't expecting that not at all that was a great yeah, that was a great story. that was a great story mm -hmm. that i'm sure so many people can relate to yeah you're probably gonna have some people step up yeah as a result of that story yeah that and, was great and i know um for our culture, when I say culture, I mean black people. I know and, and, and for me and Tina's era, we were told, get a good job. Be a nurse, mm -hmm. go work at the post office, mm -hmm. get you got a pension. You know, we were never told. And no fault of our parents because that's how they were raised. If you had yeah. one of the top three or four jobs, that means you were middle class or you were doing good. You had a two-car garage and a brick home. Mm -hmm. We were never told to go start your own business. Okay. If you got into the post office and passed that test, you was winning. Mm -hmm. If you became a nurse, you you know, you, you were winning. Mm -hmm. I think it is, I say within the last 20 years, maybe that's when I've seen, you know, classmates of mine, other people, becoming entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Because first, we were all just trying to grab for those. The door those, wide open right now, yeah, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The door is wide yeah. open. Anybody who's not being an entrepreneur yeah. is sleeping. And also, <laughs> it's so many open. things that are open to you that wasn't. Because like you said, the YouTube, internet. the so social media is, is, is there. From if you want to for anything that you want to do. If you want to do hair or you want to um, get a vending machine. It's, 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 some, it's something there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I said, I, I'm still a nine to fiver, not for long. <laughs> you know, I'm one of those people that had, that has to somewhat more get the courage from me. I always been scared because, scared because I she was. She said scared. Yeah. <laughs> she said yeah. scared. That too. <laughs> it's because, you know, I was a single mother. And I'm like, if I leave this job and it don't work. What I'm going to feed my babies. Exactly. They ain't going to understand that this didn't work. Yeah. You know, and I didn't, I didn't have nobody to, to fall back on. Right. So that yeah. was, but now they all grown. Yeah. You know, so. But you know what? I'm glad you said that mm -hmm. because um, outside of you got to stay ready, mm -hmm. you also, well, that was what it was for me is just to, to stay ready, but. I just remember that I did want to quit my job for mm -hmm. a couple of years before mm -hmm. I did it. And so it did take courage mm -hmm. and it took support. Mm -hmm. So I had um, told that story in my first book. Mm -hmm. um, but I told that story that I would call every day. Call, I was married at the time. I would call my husband every day at lunch and keep him on the phone an hour complaining about my job. <laughs> and for the longest, he was the one telling me, oh, that's a good job. Don't quit that job, blah, blah, blah. But I wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. I was not happy. I was not feeling that um, I, I was being all I could be. I was away. feeling like, yeah, I was being held back. Mm -hmm. And it was killing me. Mm -hmm. It was killing me. Mm -hmm. So I would complain every day. And one day he got tired of me complaining and calling him every day. He was like, just quit your damn job. That's all I need to hear. Because <laughs> I went back from my lunch break and I wrote my resignation letter right that day. Mm -hmm. And that's all I needed to hear. And I, I really didn't have no solid plan, but I knew I could be so much more than what I was being. 
So you gotta feel it and you gotta be ready. Gotta be ready. That's a good story too though. You feel That's it. That's a good story. You feel it. Yeah. You just be like, I'm out of here. Yeah. Cause like for me, there's nothing else for me to learn where I'm at. Yeah. No growth. No. No. And it's you know, it's just You'll do it when you feel ready. Yeah. It ain't gonna, it, you're not you even going to talk about it no more. Yeah. You're going to leave. Yeah. Period. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you you be like, I'm so much bigger than this place. Yeah. You know, but those were some awesome stories. I didn't think I was going to get that, but your girl does that. <laughs> <laughs> right. But this fucking vodka is good. I know it's called for Four kids. kids. <laughs> not, not that. Not. But I'm going to call it that. Because I'm, because, yeah, when you first look at it, it does look like similar to F and Vodka, that's 50 cent one, but this is really cool. Yeah. And it's smooth. It's not giving me um, a headache like Belvedere. Belvedere Vodka give me a headache. Mm -hmm. Absolute Vodka kind of give me a headache. But Grey Goose Vodka makes me feel like I'm on drugs. So, I, only Vodka I drink is that Tito's. Goose. That Goose will get you loose. Yes. <laughs> only Vodka I drink is Tito's, Kettle One, and shoot, I think that's. Oh, Stoli. Stoli, that's a good one. That's my mama stuff, Stoli. Stoli, Stoli. Yeah. I heard that was the best vodka from the really? store. Well, that's my mom, that's what, that's what she drinks. She drinks Stoli. That's it. That's all I'm touching. Oh, okay. and now, F and, I mean. Four Kings. Four Kings. My God. My God. So now I'm drinking that. So you're not drinking on Bumpy Face? Bumpy Face what? Jim? Yeah. yeah. Hell. <laughs> you know my story about Jim. <laughs> Hell no, I don't mess with Jim. It's, I got a real funny gin. Make you sin, baby. Uh, <laughs> woo, baby. Mm. I don't think I ever tried gin. What is well, that? let me tell you. Back in the day, ooh, ooh, when me and Tina what? That was off that gin and juice. <laughs> That's when we used to go to cabaret. <laughs> shut them down at four in the morning. Yeah, and get them to go to work the next day. Yeah, mm. We used to drink blue motherfuckers. What's oh, yeah, yeah. D.A.B. It was a hall. On Jefferson. On Jefferson. Yeah. That's where all the bank of cabarets used to be. In T. Way. <laughs> we go probably about 11. Close it down at 4. Go to Coney mm. Island. And it's jail and weed. Jail and weed. When you say D.A.B., I think about that. We used to be weed, 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 weed. We used to be like, thinking we were popping it. Tell <laughs> them a seven day outfit song. <laughs> Seven days. Oh, what's that? Seven days. She bring, She really bringing out. Yes, they had two. Right now. Oh. That four eight two two four. Four eight two two four she in the building. Oh. Four eight two two four. What is that in the building? What oh, about it? Groceries. Groceries. Who are you talking about? Kroger's. No, oh my Myers. No, no, oh, uh, like don't don't even go there. <laughs> what about groceries? I'm talking about groceries. What about them? <laughs> what? I mean, uh, why you? <laughs> Why you pulling your beard? Like nervous? That? No. You nervous, man? No, I was just thinking what topics, bro. Is this your random of the day? Shit. It is random. <laughs> it is random. It sounds real random. What about hmm. some groceries? I went to the grocery store about a week ago. About a week about ago. About I don't think they selling this at the grocery store. I don't think they selling this at Kroger. <laughs> so Kroger. you can't use your little Kroger card and get 10 cents off. Oh, okay. You know. Oh, you talking about some other groceries? Oh. So, somebody, you know, I'm just really just re it. Okay. And I know I just made up a word, re but this is what this fucking box is. <laughs> <laughs> you know that vaccine they got coming out? Mm. The vaccine, the Rona the vaccine. Co oh, the COVID. The COVID nineteen. So vaccine. let me ask y'all this: comment below or hit me, and y'all two gotta answer this. Okay. <laughs> Don't think y'all just gonna get it. <laughs> you was gonna get it. We, we can't believe ain't no bleeding, no, no fifth, bleed, no or no take fifth. a sip. None of that. Nah, no, they say oh, nah, gosh. they say no, nah. no. Nah. Oh gosh, they come with that vaccine, right? <laughs> They say you either take the vaccine or you eat these groceries. <laughs> you take oh, the vaccine God. or you eat the groceries. Hey, I guess I guess I would need to know who's no. supplying the groceries. <laughs> Great answer. Okay, all right, okay. I'll Great give answer. you a person for the groceries and I give Tina a person for the groceries. Oh my God. Okay, cool. For your groceries, it will be 
Jocelyn. Uh, uh, Jocelyn Hernandez? Yeah. The Puerto Rican princess? Yeah. Uh, or take the COVID-19. Yeah. <laughs> Groceries from Jocelyn. I'm so done with this Stevie question. Stevie J. Yeah. X. Eat the groceries. Or are you, what you doing? Are you taking? I'm so down with this or you just, or what, I don't you, know. Why you keep rubbing your beard? What's up? I was thinking, that's, that's I guess I'm going to have to get my cart ready for the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Jocelyn Hedda. Grocery. Oh, Parker 89. <laughs> <laughs> um, Miss Willis. <laughs> what? So for you we have um, She should have Idris Elba. I was gonna say that. Uh, no, no, we gonna she have like, that's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's my what's my guy name? My chocolate brother um, Tyrese. No, no, you cry too much. Oh, um, they cry too much. Yeah. Um, no, Morris Chestnut. Mm. Or the she vaccine. Like she like you're just better. Now, do you want, <laughs> now right. the vaccine, do you want to be showing houses with three noses if you take the vaccine? Three noses? But we don't know what We don't know what the vaccine going to do. We don't know. <laughs> Somebody face, it was a few people face that got stuck like this. Oh, that's sad. Are y'all serious? Yeah, they took the vaccine and got Oh, no way. You getting your cart ready? Oh. Are you taking the vaccine? That's a big mm. one. That's a big one. <laughs> this chestnut this morning. What you going to do? And you sober. I ain't drinking no fucking vodka. <laughs> Take the COVID vaccine. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh. And you, uh. you know only African Americans is because you... We like we ain't taking no damn vaccine. We let everybody else go first. Um, I guess give me my grocery card. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I got it. What what did it say on that song? But you got it. You <laughs> like groceries. <laughs> <laughs> give me give me my give me my grocery card. Oh Lord. Wow. <laughs> well, what y'all gonna do? You taking the vaccine? Mess around, get twelve fingers. Gonna be slobbing for the rest of your life. Oh, 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 oh. Be cross eyed for the rest of your what what what? what? Comment, comment below. Yeah. Comments. Comment below. Yeah. Comments. You know. We don't embarrass ourselves. Yeah. Hit one of us. Let us, us know what you're gonna do. <laughs> also, I just want to shout out um a black business that I visited today. Oh yeah, where was that? It is on Harper. It's a black owned liquor store. Say word. Yes. Um, it's called Black Wall Street mm. or Black Wall Street. East Side Store? It is East Side for me and Tina's neighborhood, 48224. Mm -hmm. 48224, not the same though, so I, I, I don't know how much I'm representing that. <laughs> well, that's where you was born and raised, man. I was, I was. So it's called Black, Black Wall Street Liquor Store. It is on Hopper and Newport on the corner. Mm. I visited there. He had a wide array of selection of liquor. Um, wine uh, was very. He, if you don't drink, he got a lottery machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, support black. Businesses. Yeah, support. It's, oh, it's a young man. Um, with very nice um, things that some liquors that he didn't have in there. He said he would have them next time when I come in. Um, I believe he's going to come on the show. Um, and, um, we just gonna support them. And when you're on the east side, um, I actually, I have several liquor stores around my home, but I travel personally to his to show this man some love because during this season, especially during COVID, we need mm -hmm. to support small businesses because here's the thing, Target, uh, Walmart and everybody, they gonna make their money. Mm -hmm. It's the small businesses that are getting overlooked. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna challenge you. Mm -hmm. Spend your money with some small business. Tomorrow, I'm going to do just a little bit of Christmas shopping, but I'm gonna keep it in the community. And I would uh, next week I'll let y'all know who I visited and what my experience was. But let's just you know because <clears throat> these two they have small businesses, and without you, they can't keep going. And 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 just like you need to support them, we need to support you guys. So that you know, I just wanted to shout that out. He was a wonderful young man. And um, let's just continue to support one another. I agree. It's your girl from the east side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we wrapping up. 
Yeah. I mean, my highlight of the day was the groceries and the piling. Yeah. But y'all nice. stories? They were deep. I almost mm -hmm. shed a tear. Mm -hmm. yeah, they were deep. Yeah. Y'all did. Y'all got y'all Denzel and Holly Berry on today, <laughs> and the Oscar goes too. <laughs> so, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you get the book "Empowered Through Real Estate." Yes. And also, if you are interested in becoming an entrepreneur, make sure you hit me up at Dream Team Consulting, or just inbox me at Melvin Parker eighty nine, and make sure you slide in your Mika Shade's inbox for that relationship question. Mm hmm. One thing about you. Aren't you doing taxes in 2021? Oh, yeah. Dream Team Tax Pros. It's coming soon. Okay. We, we coming for everybody. Right. <laughs> Maximum right. refund guarantee. Mm hmm Anything for you? Um, Miss Chestnut? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah just... Mm -mm, not today. Not today? All right, y'all. It's been real. It's been a blast. Until next time. Real estate and relationships. relationships. Peace. Peace. Oh, forgot. I was a little quicker now. Oh, I gotta get up, do I? Let me see this work. Hey, you know what'd be crazy? What if kings, not gods?